Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make this card. I designed it in my Gypsy and used a little die cut and some embossing down here at the bottom. So, let's get started. So, here's my card base that I'm using. I designed this with my Gypsy. Um, this is from the Lacey Labels cartridge. Okay, so I did this in my Gypsy and I cut it at... This is at like 5.24 and then everything else is proportionate. It's like the real dial size for this was 5.5 um, and then I weld them together. So welded them together so obviously it's a little bit smaller. But like the actual, the regular size is 5.24 and then everything's cut proportionate. And um, let me get this out of the way. I don't know if that really made sense but you know what I mean. So this is cut at 5.24. It's the base image for this. So um, this is from the Lacey Labels cartridge as well. As well, this is you know the, the what you would see I think on your overlay or something. I don't know. So this is the base image for this. This is going to go on top of it. I actually made this card last night and I used this as the card base and it was super cute but the card was a lot flimsier because of all the holes. I didn't think about that. So I made a new one with the, when you hit the shift key, this is what the image is for it. I guess it's not base image but you know what I mean, the other layer for it. When you hit the shift key you get this. So I made two of these and welded them together. And then I cut the layer for it. And then I went in with George and Basic Shapes and cut a circle that was the same size as this layer because it's just going to go over it just like that. And this paper that I used for it, I don't know if you can really tell, but um, it's from Basil and it's already like it's embossed and I really love I think it's super cute and it's pretty much almost the exact same color as this base card. This is also Basil. This is um, quicksand and this is like s'mores or something. And this is some old Martha Stewart paper. I think I used this in my last video, and I just happened to see it when I was going through and getting supplies for this card. And I still really like it, so I just went ahead and pulled it. And this is the back side of some We Are Memory Keepers paper that I really love. The front of it's this kind of um, notebook paper, aged looking paper. And so, yeah, I think it's super cute. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put this circle together and I'm just going to use some Tombow glue for it. I like it because you don't have to use a lot and it dries quickly. And I'm just going to do it with my tweezers because I always, always, always get liquid glue all over me. So we're going to try and minimize that by using the tweezers, but I'll still get it everywhere. And then what I'm going to do is I have my big doily. I guess I'm going to call it a doily. I don't know. I don't know what the technical term is for it. And I have the big color box, paint box. This is the classic pigment ink pack. I don't know. I really like it because it has like every color on it. And there's kind of this pinky orangey color that's really similar to this color. So I'm just going to go ahead and lightly, not too much, just enough to kind of make it a little solid around those edges. Okay, next what I want to do is... I'm going to go ahead, this is the that same color cue with that blue in it, and on the top one it has this really great, um, I don't think I actually put the titles, no, but it's, it's almost like a craft color ink, I don't know what the name of it is, and I'm just going to very, very lightly do these edges as well, and I love it because it's pretty much the same color as this cardstock. So next I'm going to just go ahead and attach this to my um, to my card base and I'm going to use my scotch adhesive for that and I just want to be sure really what I'm concerned about is getting this edge Oops. so because I really want that part to stay down okay and then in the middle I'm going to use some ATG gun 
just a little bit of that. Okay, so there's our card base. Super cute. And next I'm going to go ahead and put down the center. Okay, so now I'm going to do, I'm going to stamp the greeting, and I'm going to use this um, Hero Art stamp set. I, I don't know how long, it's probably been out for a while, but I like it. Um, and it's, I'm going to use the one that says a happy hello, and I'm stamping it on this little, like, label flag, banner, I don't know what you want to call it, thing. It's also for Martha Stewart, and I thought it was really great for this paper because it has kind of that same pinky orange almost color to it. So, yeah, it's going to fit perfectly in there. Okay, now I'm just going to set it. So the first, oh, it's kind of messy, but oh well. The first thing I'm going to, I'm going to trim these little ends off here. And then I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to, I have a matching one, and I'm just going to cut off the ends, a pretty good chunk of the ends for that one. I'm going to flip this over and put two little tiny dimensional dots here, squares, whatever. And Okay, so there we go. It kind of looks like a more like a banner now. Okay, my battery died. So anyway, I have those two ends attached to my banner to make it kind of look like a waving banner. And now I have a die cut piece from Girls, the Girls Papery. It came in this. I got it at Hobby Lobby. And it's just, it's got a whole bunch of different little cute images in it. And I liked it because this pink and the pinkish orange paper so I felt like it ma matched it matched it really well. And I'm actually going to use some um, Stampin' Up! dimensional with this one because I still want it to pop off the page but I don't want it to be on the same level as this because this is going to go over it just a little bit. So this is not straight and it's bothering me anyway. <laughs> So this is going to pop it up, but put it lower than the banner. Okay, I'm going to put that oops, kind of up here at the top just like that. And then I'm going to take some more of that square adhesive and I'm just going to put a line of those down the middle so that way everything will be even. And these bottom parts of the banner will be flush with the card. And this isn't straight and it's bugging the mess out of me. Hold on. And now it's uneven. Mm. 
Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to pop this down kind of towards the bottom. And there we go. There's my card. Something moved over there and it kind of creeped me out. <laughs>